Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you two simple design techniques. So let's get started. Let me go to Click View. So the first technique, Format Painter. I'm sure most of you know what Format Painter is. You have this functionality in Excel and other Microsoft Office packages. Let me close this pop-up. Okay, and uh, so let's create a list box and let's see a simple example list box and then I'll select country I have country already so I'll select the player and then click on OK so in this case if we wanted to get this color how do we do that you can copy and paste the colors or you can look at the colors and you can redo the same design but the quickest way to do this is select this object and select the format painter and click on this. I'm sure most of you know that, but if you have more than one object, let's see how we can do that. So let me delete this, delete, and let me add the list box again, and this time players, and uh, let's say I have one more list box, which in this case is uh, runs, okay? So now if you wanted to format these two, you don't want to click twice. First select the object and then double click on the Format Painter. Once you do that, now you can hover over and click on this object and then click on this object and you can click on whatever objects you wanted. So you're copying the same format on all the objects. And once you're done, you can click on it or press the Escape button. Either one of them will work. That's the tip number one. And let's look at the second tip. Let me delete them. Now, let's say you have your application where you have same sheet objects, standard ones, like if you have a current selection box. Let me add one. Let me add current selection box. And let me again get the format painter in. Okay, so we have this. These colors are not great colors, but ignore that for now. Okay, so now we have a current selection box and then we have two list boxes. Let's say that you have a standard design template for each sheet object. Instead of recreating the same thing or copying and pasting them, when you copy and paste the sheet objects, you're creating a new instance of the same object. What I mean by that is, let me copy these three list boxes, these two list boxes, and then the current selection box. Let me go to sheet one and delete everything in here. And let me just go ahead and say, uh, let me go back, sorry. Copy again. And let, let me come back here and then paste here. Now, once I paste it, let's look at the properties here. It's LB6 and this is LB7. And let's go back to the main and then here we have lb1 so lb2 so the object ids are not the same because we've copied and pasted and this creates a new instance of the same object instead i would suggest copy whatever is standard across the whole application and then let's go back let's delete these three And let's say paste sheet object as link. Now let's look at the properties. And then you can see LB1 and then this should be LB2. Pretty good. Now let's say that you moved the position of the linked objects. Let's say that these three objects, you wanted to move them to left. And then you can go to the other sheet and you can select them and say linked objects adjust position of linked objects and then if you go back you will see you're coming back to the same place which is very very useful so let me do that again so if i move them here and now let's go ahead and select these three and then say 
linked objects adjust position of linked objects and then, now let's go back to the main sheet these three objects have moved and you can see the scroll bar so it's a print pretty simple and powerful technique to manage objects within ClickView, which are repeated in the same application i hope this helps thank you for watching have a good day